Let's just take a look at the character customization. You will first begin by choosing your breed. It does not appear like this will make a huge change as you can customize the stats of your character the way you see fit. I could be wrong, but I'm going to go with just the one that I like the looks of the most. So I'm going to choose Rex. We can see the stats slightly changing on the side. Over here, Define you can choose your, your attributes. Structure. If you want to be more strength, you'll notice that it will actually alter his physical appearance. If we go more towards agility, it'll make him a little bit more slender and nimble. You can see his movement speed potential is going to be a lot higher. Or if you want intelligence, his head is going to be better. Or bigger. I guess a bigger head's better. That's what she said. And uh, if you want a well-rounded character, you can leave it in the middle. So let's say I go for uh, strength 100. Choose a genetic resilience. Then you can choose a genetic resistance. Between all of these, I'm probably just going to leave it in the middle at the default, just for the fun of it. Choose your fur style. Then after you can choose your fur style. You, know, you can just really customize it to make it your own. I'm going to leave it in the middle Pick your main color then over here we can choose how bright we want our primary color to be and that's going to be the section around the eye in the instance of this character here let's go for like a nice green it'll also affect your tail tip yeah let's do this Choose your detail color. And this is your detail color. So basically, like your main fur color. I'm going to go with a nice pink. Just for the sake of it, because I can. Pick a class. Then after yes. that, you'll be asked to choose a class. This again, from what I've read, just like earlier with the breed does not seem to make that much of a difference only because Deadline. as you play throughout the game you'll be able to really customize your character Command. anyways Send. Dead so this one is the one that you get with the dlc if you buy it from the store or you get it for free if you pre-order the game melee dual wield dead eye, dead eye ranged weapons reload quicker commando commando range weapons attack 10 percent more damage cypher cypher you look like Raiden or the guy from Infamous. Your key energy regens increase by 20%. Saboteur. Saboteur seems to be like uh, Raphael from the Ninja Turtles with the Psy. Sort of like your rogue, I guess. Sentinel. And then the Sentinel, your base armors increase by 10% or by 10. So it's let's say I go with the Mercenary, because that's the DLC one. Let's just try it for the fun of mercenary it. Chosen. And then basically that's it. And then I'll just say, here's your overview. Do you want to change anything? You can go Pick back. Class. Mercenary chosen. And then once you've Good confirmed choice. it, that's it. You're done. And you're just kind of thrown into the game, the and that's it. Past. Drawn into the so as always, if you like the video, oh, would you shush. If you like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. It greatly helps support the channel with the algorithm and making me a little bit more relevant in the search results when people are looking shit up on the internet. If you didn't like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs down. I'll break it off in your ass. And I'll make sure tomorrow when you wake up out of bed and you look in the mirror, this is what you look like for the rest of your life. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, I mean, naturally, that would be great. But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care. And maybe I'll see some of you in the next video. Bye for now.